about to leave Already packing, come with me I'm not really asking, we'll get away To a place where we don't know About to see, the world in action What we can be, life with no distractions We'll get away Second flight was even better success than the first one Levi slept through the entire flight. So uncomfortable. And I lost my voice. There's no more point in me talking. When you travel from the west to the east country, jet lag works in such a way where you are normally wide awake until late into the night and then you sleep until late into the day. So usually when we go, we can't normally sleep until 2 or 3 in the morning and then we wake up at 12 or 1 in the morning, um, in the afternoon actually. This time though, we slept at 12 o'clock at night and I woke up at 3 in the morning. And I was tossing and turning in bed for such a long time that I had to get out of the room. I didn't want to wake Levi up and I didn't want to disturb Lakshman. But when I got up at 3, Lakshman then followed me behind. I think he came around about half 3, maybe 4. And Levi also woke up right after us. So in the end, it was only the three of us who was awake in that whole house fidgeting about. We were not even hungry, but because we were awake and we were restless, we were just randomly eating snacks and stuff. Levi had a full cup of milk, he had biscuits, he had every random snack that we could find. And we just sat there playing around for maybe about two hours or so. And then eventually we went to bed at six in the morning and then woke up at about 10 in the morning after that. I was I was going to stay awake, but I was a little bit worried because we had a very long day after that. I didn't want to get tired. So somehow when we went back to bed, I managed to sleep again. So full of self-confidence Everything you said made a lot of sense. Our first stop for the day was KLCC. We had no intentions of going out anywhere at all, but my mother had some other work to do and we were supposed to meet someone else for lunch, but that got cancelled in the last minute. So we actually had a lot of time and we thought we'll take Levi out, show him the place. He normally loves walking around in shopping malls, people watching and everything here in the UK. So we thought we'll see how he does in KLCC and he absolutely loved it. There was so much going on because it was December, everything was decorated for Christmas. There was a lot of workshops and it was all bright and, you know, colourful and cheery. Everyone was all in holiday spirits and everything. So it was just nice randomly walking about, relaxed. We didn't have any agenda. I think that was a key though. We were so relaxed. We were just randomly walking about, finding food there. I mean, Malaysia, KL, food is always amazing. So you can just find anything to eat. We got some snacks to eat um, and we went outside KLCC. So we could enjoy the view outside while we had our lunch. The weather was good. It didn't rain and it wasn't as sunny as it normally is. So that was really good for us. I thought I was too cold to ever love again But every single word cut through the rain We see the distance grow I just need to know I'm closer to you there I guess Living in your messages Every day now I confess you 
randomly walking i saw the sales in one of the shops and the shoes looked really nice i had no intentions of doing shopping that day at all but i thought i'll just randomly try it and the sandals are so comfortable that i thought i will just buy that not only did i buy the sandals i bought a couple of pairs of sunglasses too i didn't expect it to be the price that i paid i thought it was slightly more expensive i didn't even see the sales on it and i thought it was much cheaper than uk price so i bought it but when i went to pay for it such a pleasant surprise it was far cheaper than i expected naturally i was super excited with my purchase after my turn it was lakshman's turn he wanted a couple of uh, shorts and he walked into Uniqlo. I tried to convince him to go into one of those local shops, but no, he just walked into Uniqlo, found the first pair of shots, bought it and walked out. That's all. I stand by you when you're falling When the river is calling Said I love you forever We can make it together What goes up, must be down There's lots of friendly faces all around And nothing's ever lifting me higher Then I touch of your sweet desire What we're all, we'll turn right We just have to hold on to as long as we are watching the fire, we'll be safe on the devil's choir. Stand by you in your fall. While in KLCC, we got Levi a small box of Lego sets. He's into his Legos now. And I did have the intention of buying him more toys in Malaysia anyway. And I wanted to compare prices in Malaysia and UK. It wasn't any much cheaper or it wasn't any more expensive. So I just bought the small box so that it's easy for us to travel around so he can play while we're out. While we were sitting and waiting for our drink at that place, Levi had fun playing with his new set of toys. And because he's into animals, this is the one that we got for him. When the river is calling his tantrum is slowly peeking out um he's not terrible okay it's not really really bad at all but it does show from time to time i forgot to pack his bib so i had to use one of his um cloth sort of a thing to wrap around him because we didn't have change of clothes and i didn't want him to spill his drink all over himself he insisted on using this cup to drink milk like we did instead of his normal milk cup that wouldn't leak and it was just 
Yeah, it was just funny to see that he wanted to stir the thing and drink it. Forever, we can make it together. By the next day, I had completely lost my voice. There was absolutely no way I could speak. No one understood anything that I was talking. So we were all sat together. And if I wanted to say something at home, I would WhatsApp people. And then they would understand what I'm trying to say. There was just absolutely no way I could talk at all. But we were only in KL for one full day and then the next day afternoon we were leaving. So the next day morning or the third morning I was doing all of my packing. I had to reshuffle a little bit of packing so I had to open all of my suitcases and reshuffle things. Um, it didn't take very long but it felt as if it took ages because I had so many things to move from here to there. We were originally going to take the train from KL to Penang because I wanted Levi to experience a train ride. He's never been on a train yet. But because we had too many luggages and it was very impractical for us to carry all of those luggages and walk up and down the stairs, move it with the lift and with Levi and everything, we then hired a van in the last minute. Um, so the van came to my uncle's house to pick us up straight to our house. That was so much more easy and convenient. It was definitely the best thing to do despite it being a lot more expensive than we thought it would be. But it was worth it. And it won't be Oh, man. I said 